Hello guys and welcome to our today's moment. Let me call it a moment or a time, whatever you might want to call it. Uh, today I would like to make a very short video of how to set this instrument. Someone had requested me to make this video and now I am obliged to make that reply with a video like this. So to set us off, let's go. Now, this is a Yamaha PSR SX series. This is the 700th series. I have this instrument here within my hand, within my grasp. It's a very beautiful instrument. And for those who want it to advance even more, you can go for the 900 or go for the Gino series, which is a great instrument. I personally love those big with the motive series, but this one got me here. <laughs> Without wasting time, let's get in. So I'm going to, um, to to bring the guy up to power so that you'll see everything from scratch. Uh, you can locate the power button right here. Uh, on this instrument, Yamaha was able to listen to us and give us at least four categories of voice selection. If you look at this uh, instrument right here, we have uh, two sections. We have this uh, voice section and we have the style section. Right here, this small section here is where you play your audio or you play your MIDI uh, inputs right there. We have live control here. Uh, and just quickly to show you how, what this, now uh, these two knobs, beautiful knobs uh, do. Uh, you can set different functions on these two knobs and you will get different functions. Like for example, if I assign uh, to this guy like attack let me just go like to the second so this is an EQ I can decide this to be metal low so let me just play this piano as you can hear it's of the medium bass so I can decide and kill some lows and you see you can now hear the piano is no longer heavy or I can just return the lows because without the lows you can't hear the, the root notes of this piano bell. Okay, and now because it is an EQ now this second knob is now set for the highs now just here. Now I'm going to increase that. If I kill it. Alright, so and so much and so forth here and so on and so forth. Now, I wasn't talking about these knobs today, uh, but I, I'm talking about setting it. Setting it includes even those knobs as you've seen, and as you've heard, they work and manipulate sound differently. And you have it right there and you can do it. into the interesting part and you guys are waiting eagerly all right now i showed you this part and this part this is the volume part of it uh, and these are just a few um, buttons that can help you this is a mixer this is a mixer whereby you have to when we're going to talk about this mixer a lot and a lot and a lot because this is where we're going to mix our voices the voices we're going to set here we're going to uh, we're going to use the mixer so that we set them and mix them well for us to have what we want now first of all you need to Press the mixer you can see it's mixer stroke EQ. All right, so we have the mixer so if you If you just press it once like let me just escape it just once like that you have it gives you this panel this panel says we have the panel we have style we have the M pad we have song and master right now we are in the style right here so if i play in a beat uh, let me just reduce that and... okay so I, I can actually um manipulate the volumes of individual voices in that in that style like for example I just have to uh press my accompany uh, just have the accompaniment there so I can decide this is the bass take it out so you can see how this guy works so I'm using this uh, this wheel right here to 
bring down or to bring up the volume okay so in the uh, another way you can just touch and bring it up like that and bring it down another way is to hold to touch you see where we have where we have a, a zero whatever we have a zero indication there you can just click that and this number part comes and you can just key in whatever you want like let's say 25 and it comes up like that then come to this one say like uh, say it like um, 38 that is on 12 I can say maybe 85 like that and so on and so forth now you can see how a mixer works now the part which I'm interested with is now here this tab called panel this panel is where we are going to mix our voices all right so we're going back to panel now you can, as you can see this panel we have two uh, right and left arrows pointing either of the direction this one's are to show you that if you touch the left one it takes you back it extends the the board so it extends the board if is you can go this is the compressor uh, and it takes you back now to the song it takes you back now to the other channels of the song now you come now to the M pad now let me come now to the to the panel right here okay so this is the part which all of you are waiting for now I want you to observe we have the style this is where you're going to choose your style like for example now I'm going to choose the, my own style that I use like for example let me let me choose the one I'm going to use to today's session like a worship so if you click here it will take you into the immediate default folder or directory these are actually directories these are not just buttons these are directories. these are banks they have uh, different beats in them so for me to access my own I'll have to go down to the user up here you can see we have user this is mine this is my shape easy I can click there I go to styles and right here I can choose whatever I want but the beat I think the beat I want is uh, back so I'll have to move back for you to close the folder you have to go back here so right in this directory this is where I have my beats so I'm going to use this number tabs to navigate to where that beat is like for example this worship love beat I love it So I can play around with the tempo, how fast or how uh, how fast or how slow the beat will be here, right here, okay? Or sometimes you can just tap in. Then you let it. So if you feel it's a bit slow or faster, just take it down. If it's faster or if it's slow, just take it up like that. For now, let me use 56. I like 56. We have the transpose button, but I rarely use that one okay so then I'm going to leave this page because I now have my beat then what I'm going to do I'm going to touch the fader I'm going now to touch to this fader. like you can just choose these faders like that and they come in hand I can just now come and choose my fader I'm going to redo that volume up to around uh, 75 75 75 75 is okay so that even if I bring it up to the full max uh, so that when the keyboard is on the full max I will not have a distorting beat especially when I'm having at the section wait for like that so my beat is not distorting all right now I have already taken care of the style now the part which you should also take uh, care of is now beginning from the left now this tab, um, this part, this channel, this channel is the left channel and you can access it via here. So I can access the voices right from here or by clicking this left right here. This is a folder which opens up the voices with the voice which you want to put on the split. This is the split for the other keyboards, the way you're used to splitting. This keyboard does not have the normal button, the, the actual button to split it up for you to have the bass from this part to the other part or from this section to that section. So actually this one, you have to do it in the settings and I'll show you momentarily. 
Now, so I'll access my bass from here. Then I'll come to my voices right here. So when I click here, it opens up the voices. So I can access the other voices here or right here. Okay, so I'll click now the left, the upper one, left, then go to the bass or bass. So one, one more time, I'll come here. So if I click here, it will still access that and if I exit here, still access here. This is a bass I like and that bass is called uh, the mini sub, this one. I like it so much. And just to let you know how it sounds, I will now, I will now activate the left right there. Oh, let me now deactivate the accompany. Mm. If you do not have the, the earphones or the headphones, you will not be able to hear that low well. That Kamini sub, that Kamini sub is so good. Sometimes I use the sub bass, this one. In fact, I'm Mini sub. Then I come back to my mixer. Go back to the panel. I go to my mixer. Then I'll bring down the volume of the left, that bass, to almost... Uh, three quarter of this 75 so I'll bring it to around 50 50 there because I have my beta 75 actually let me have this one at 80 so that I'll have this one yeah so that so they will not be able to clash the reason I'm doing that is so that if I have my kick Alright, so for now I can hear my bass is a bit low because I'm using the mini sub. So I'm going to bring it up to, because this one is 80, let me bring this one up to 65. So that if the kick goes, the bass is not supposed to, uh, to, to wipe out uh, the, the room for the kick to hit. If the kick hit, it needs to find its own room and the bass is not allowed to shadow, to overshadow the kick itself. Like this one I mean. If you have it too loud, this is what I will get. So you'll get it distorting. So I will return this one to 60. Way ahead. All right, now I have that one set. Now let me go now to this part which you really have to pay attention. Now this is where creativity and your likability to different voices, how they sound comes in. The, for you to set this instrument correctly or well, it's upon you, it's about you, your personal liking and how conversant you are with different sounds, how you combine different sounds to get what you want according to your liking and according to what you want. Now, I will proceed now to right one. As you can see, we have left, right one, right two, right three. As you can see, right one, right two, right three. These ones are activation. Uh, these one are act activation uh, buttons, but these ones are selection buttons. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click and press my right one. Okay, if you look at the mixer right here, it hasn't selected anything yet. Okay, but if I activate it, you see it's activated down there. Actually, you can just touch it and touch it back for you to activate it on and off so here I'm going to access my pianos right here so I usually set my piano at right one so I'm going to select my piano there or just press this right one button for me to enter into the into this folder the folder that says piano and e piano all right I hope you can see it well so in here I love the concert grand or the ambient piano just hear the difference. Um, let me go down to the key of A. Now, you need now hear how a concert grants it. going to use that concert grant one more time just hear how it sounds okay 
So I'm going to have my concert grand and I'm going to reduce the volume up to around 80. Actually, let me take it to 75. Actually, 70 is okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce my, my, my instruments a bit, I mean my, my drums to 70 around there. So you need to play for it to get the volumes right, okay? But if I'm playing this in the church PA, I will have to reduce this drum a bit. Now, let me proceed now to the second part. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I love layering my piano together with an EP, okay? An electronic piano for me to get a crispy sound fused together with some muffled, if you can understand that. So to access that, I'm going to go straight ahead this is a shortcut to get there i'll go i'll just strike that right to selection button and go here select that folder and it will enter into this folder right there and i will go to this second category where we have the suitcase pc ep sorry suitcase ep then i'm going to activate that right to and come back to my mixer here and reduce this one to, if this is 75, I'm going to take this one to 60. Now, together, hear how they sound. Just hear this. This is a bit, it's a bit dry on its own. Flat, bring it in. Actually, I'm going to reduce, reduce it to some, some of 56. Yeah, 55 is okay. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay? Now, to marinate everything up now, I want you now to go find a very beautiful paired or a string sound. For us to do that, I'm going now to add on the third right here. So I'm going to have my selection button taken and I'm going to take to come out of this default folder where it is simply guitars and I'm going to locate this folder that is called choir and pad. You can actually access it from here and it's right here, right there. And it will enter here automatically. So in here, I want you to go ahead and sample these voices, how they sound. That is, uh, that's the boys choir, oh, uh, I need to activate it for you too. I'm not going to use that one. I was just showing you the, how you sample it. So I'm going to try the vapor pad. Oh, phantom acoustic, huh? So beautiful. Now try the new atmosphere for you to get what you're like. I'm not going to use that one. I'm not. Okay, it's a very beautiful one, but I will not lie to you. I'm not going to use that one. Um, that one is beautiful when you're playing more than when you have your acoustic piano around you. I, I an acoustic pianist around you. That will work. What I love using as a pad, I love super dark pad or pad if you like the American guys. Okay, you can hear how heavy it is. Or I like the dark fat soul. Again with my mixer, 
I'm going to reduce this one up to around 45. There. Why 45? So that I'll have it in the background. I don't want my pad being in front. When a pad is in front of every other instrument, it has very heavy frequencies with it. So it's gonna kill what the piano, it's gonna kill the piano and the electronic piano too. It's gonna, because they are fighting for the same room, for the same frequency. As you can hear, it's still heavy, all right? Now, there's something you need to take uh, note about. Um, uh, uh, let me get something, let me get something. Uh, okay. There's something you need to, to take note about. I need you to take note in this mixer, uh, in this mixer window, I need you to take note of this uh, part here. As you can see, pan and volume. As you can also see, chorus and reverb. You can see effect, effect, and you can see EQ, and you can see filters. All right, I hope you can see that. Right now, we are operating in the pan and volume so that we'll be able to manipulate and regulate different volumes of these instruments that we have just selected and put them and categorically place them in here. All right? Now, there's something I need to do. I will come now to this section that says EQ and touch that. As you can see, Everything has changed. It's no longer faders, but these are actually these are knobs. It's just a knob like this one appearing flat there. So why am I in this place? It's because I want to do a little mixing. Now remember this is my style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it at that. This is my aim pad. I'm not going to touch anything in there because I'm not going to use it. Now I'll come to my left on this channel. There. I'm going to touch on this knob right here and I'm going to increase some bass in there up to something like 25 there remember since we have increased the equalization and the, especially on the bass the bass part of the sub bass this section is gonna be louder as compared to before like right there to zero and for you to for you to see it or for you to hear it if I take it back to around the around 25 or 30 the one I had let's just say 30 or 30 as you can hear the volume is up again so I will do that and come back here in this window and just reduce it if it was zero to 30 I'll try and cut the volume around the same center until it's subtle. Well, all right. right there. Now, I'll go back to EQ. Now, um, electronic pianos are usually heavy. Naturally, they are heavy. Just, just have a hear. Just, just have a listen. The notes I'm playing in my left hand are very heavy. They are naturally heavy. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna kill some of that. Why? Because I'm not going to play any bass thing with that instrument. So I'm going to kill around 30. Around there. Then I'm going to go back to my panel and raise that volume around that area, around 60. Around 60. 65, 64, 65 is okay. Then I'll go back to my EQ. A piano also naturally has bass in it. All right, now, to me it sounds okay, but I'll just cut around 10, negative 10 is okay. Then the pad to this pad right here, this one, it's heavy too, so I'm going to cut around 30. Out of the same place. Just see. 
So you listen as you can't. Yeah, now you can hear it's a bit subtle. And then I'll come back to the volume section and I'm going to bring it up to 50. No, 50 there. Let, let us have a taste of what we have. Uh, I need to increase some of a uh, bit the piano to around 80. Now let me activate the piano and for me to hear the difference. To me it sounds good. that because uh, I've split the keyboard up to this section so when I actually play this chord I'm actually playing one note that is in the bass that's why it sounds bad like that so to, to, to rectify that I'm going to bring down my octave like that for me to bring this octave up here so I'm going to have this mm, you can tell taste and a listen to what I have said so far and this mixing uh, on this instrument so uh, give me a song so I'm going to do it on a so this is uh, let me do um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to have it on sing start right here what this does it's it stays on standby so that when you just land your fingers on these keys that beat will be set off like so i'm going to reduce the volume trouble with this note since I can't play up to here because if I play this note and play it together here I'll have an oscillation problem I'll have that uh, since the bass I'm using is synth 
are based, I'm going to have a problem playing two notes. If you play anything's based note, uh, instrument, you do not play one note and recur to another one before you let the previous one go. It will have an oscillation problem. This is what I'm talking about. If I play this note and play another one, before I let this one go, it will pitch bend this note higher, like this. Like you sound like... All right, okay, it's not working because I haven't set it to the left. All right, now for me to set the split point, I'm going to go to menu right there, and it's right there. Look, split, and right here you need to know where you're going. Like I'm going to split my left here. Just touch the left here, and down here you see left, we have style. This style is when you have on a company. You can see it comes, so if you deactivate it, you will not see it. This left is this part. If I deactivate this one, you will not be able to set it. You'll be able to set it, but you'll not be able to play. But now I will activate my left, and I'm going to right here where it says E3. So I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to use the the the, the, the toggle wheel to go down to maybe say a B because I'm playing on the key of A. I want. I only want to come to the highest note to be this A. So I'm going to bring it down up to an A right there. Actually, yes, right there. So until I say A2 here. So beyond that, we won't be able to have that bass. And you can tell because I'm holding down my sustain pedal and it's not affecting it. Why? Because I set, I did not set my sustain pedal to affect the left, as you can see from this uh, window right there. We are almost coming to the end of this section, so just pay a little attention to the same. All right, now I'm going to, to have my uh, my jamming session for you to hear what I've just done so far. So uh, you, I know you know what is the work and the function of this part, the style control and the memory registration, because now if you feel that this setting that you have, this one, is okay with you, you can actually save this session for you to use it later so that it will minimize your setting up time during the service. Let's say you are late a bit and you're behind time and the service just begun. What you just need to do, just um, grab yourself a seat, sit down, uh, press or sit on this button right here, wait for around 15 seconds for this instrument to come up because it's a very heavy instrument so it takes time for you to for it to bring up the entire uh, workstation to work like that so just wait for 15 seconds to come then you can you can just um, jump into some bunch of your settings you just set in there and save there so to save this session actually i'm not going to save this one because i have another one that i've already set that way and i've set them right in this section so what I'm going to do, you grab this memory, you press it down, memory. Do not worry about this pop-up window that just popped up. And you're going to go ahead and press any of the number here and you will see it blink, okay? If I do that, it will have registered that memory into a bank. We have, this is bank one, two, three, four, and so up to eight. So this is what it's gonna do. Uh, let me just risk it and see, as you can see it blinks three times and that tells you that one is well. So even if I change it, come here. If I go back there, those are the settings that I'm going to have. Right there. Alright, now, do you know why it's behaving like that? Because I did a mistake. I have to go back to the menu and come to the split. So you can have that one. So it was uh, it was a bit problematic because I had made a split of these right three downward. So it it was 
are deactivating this other uh, this other two voices okay so so this is how I'll begin maybe my session before the service begins so this setup and uh, might not work for you and other uh, when you're playing along other instrumentalists or other musicians like let's say you have another guy on the piano you have another one on the EP you have another on the organ you have another one on the, on the pads this the setting up of this instrument will come in handy on a personal basis and it will affect different section and it will affect different times and different performances like these settings I have set for myself is when I am assuming that I'll be playing along, and that's why you can hear my my playing is more melodic. I'm, I'm 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 I have so much of the melodies of the song in it because I am alone. So I'm assuming that I need to let the singer know what I'm playing or what kind of a song I am actually inducing in the moment. All right. As you can hear, I began with my pads, like I just then I had my uh, on the in the low section of the beat. I need to create that moment. Like let's say like that song like mm -hmm. Yeah sure I'm a seal of Judah I'm on a chance to explore within this instrument and have your liking set for action from me I have no other deal with you so I just have to go like right now bye see you next time God bless you God bless you I mean God bless you for real God bless you